About 9.35 this morning, we received several calls for sounds of gunshots in the 4400 block of Iowa Avenue, which is McFarland Middle School, and 4300 block of 13th Street, which is Roosevelt High School. Officers responded, we began to canvas, uh, and through our investigation, we've learned that there were uh, gunshots fired in the rear of McFarland Middle School. Uh, we did locate evidence uh, indicating such. Uh, we have had a chance to review some video footage we are currently looking for two individuals. Uh, I want to make sure I get this accurate. The first suspect is going to be a Hispanic or white male wearing a blue North Face jacket with black shoulders on the jacket, uh, black sweatpants, white tennis shoes, and a black mask, last seen running on foot. He's accompanied by a second uh, Hispanic male, black jacket, black skull cap, wearing blue jeans and white tennis shoes. Again, no one was hurt. No, correct. There's no one injured by the gunfire. There is some property damage. Uh, as a result of the calls for sounds of gunshots, both McFarland Middle School and Roosevelt High School uh, did go down into a lockdown. That lockdown has since been lifted. How long were they in lockdown, Commander? Uh, I want to say about a half hour, but I don't have the exact time when the lockdown was lifted. Okay. So you're still looking for evidence, still looking for suspects? Correct. The scene is being processed. We do have officers canvassing for the suspects that were last seen fleeing on foot. Okay, thank you very you much. Any her? reason to believe so that they are related to the school, that they go to the school, or they staff, maybe students, um, any information around that? We do not have any indication whether they attend the schools or not. Do we know how many gunshots were fired? Uh, we believe three gunshots were fired, but we're still processing the scene for evidence. And how many hit, and it's, you guys seem to be concentrated on a vehicle. Was that vehicle, that white vehicle hit? We do have two vehicles that were struck by gunfire. I'm not sure which two they are. Okay. And uh, the, is there an age range that you think these suspects are or these, these shooters are? No, we're unable to tell the age range from the images that we have at this time. Any particular reason why it's this parking lot? Were they running into this parking lot? It was some kind of a scuffle or confrontation that led to the shooting? No, we still have detectives canvassing for video to see what may have pre preceded or proceeded this event. But as of right now, we believe the suspects fled the area on foot. Did they arrive on foot as well? I uh, still don't know that. We're still looking for additional camera footage to try to give us that information. Will you be talking to any students, staff, to get some interviews and see if, see if someone saw something? I know you have surveillance that you're looking through right now. We are working with D.C. Public Schools administrators in an attempt to identify anybody that may have witnessed the offense or, or have additional information for us. Again, this is one of these circumstances where we ask the public if you know something or you think you have seen something, please contact us at 202-727-9099 with that information. Every piece of information helps. So the, the gunshot was heard. Somebody from the school called 911 or something? I do not know who the callers were. I know we got at least two calls, one from McFarland and one from Roosevelt High School. And, uh, can't, uh, you know, I understand, like, obviously we're having a lot of these school shootings and you can't take anything like this light at all. I guess what is the message here that nothing is too small and something that you guys have to be very uh, vigilant about checking up on something like this? Yeah, absolutely. Anytime we respond for gunshots, but particularly areas surrounding the schools, we take every incident seriously. Uh, we conduct our investigation uh, to the fullest extent, but especially our response. We never take it lightly or assume that it's not anything. Uh, we do respond just as we would in any other school-based incident. I know your investigation is underway right now, but how long do you guys think you'll be out here um, at the school? Uh, we'll be here at the school with the detectives and the crime scene officers until we believe we've recovered and uh, all the evidence and identified anybody that may have information to assist us. So the school probably won't go back in session today. Mm -hmm. the lockdown. That's, the lockdown's been lifted. Uh, whether they stay in session or, or go into session, that's going to be on D.C. public schools to decide. Was this incident, uh, do you think it was targeted? It seems like, like you said, two vehicles were hit. Was it random? Like, was just random shooting? Uh, we do not know at this time. So right now, the message to the folks who uh, live in this area is that uh, is what? What is your message to the folks? Do what, they need to be a lookout on for two suspects? But uh, do you think that maybe like anyone else is a potential target, or is just too early to tell? It's too early to tell, but I do want the community to know we are out here. Uh, we are working with DC Public Schools to keep our children safe, uh, and we will remain in the area uh, for the next several days. We'll be highly visible to ensure the community knows we're out here. Have you had any incidents at this school recently or in the uh, past that you know of that would would make somebody maybe want to pull a trigger? Do you know of anything tied to this area that any recent violent activity? No violent activity tied to these schools uh, in, the, in the recent that would lead to believe that this is stemming from another issue. Okay. All right, thank you. I appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank